yo what's up guys my name is destiny and welcome back to another video in the chat application series using django and react and on this one we're gonna go ahead and work with sending a message and this one will be very short we can even complete this video in less than three minutes because all we just have to do is write two lines of code in the views py and one line of code in the urls and we are done that's what we're going to be doing hopefully you guys will enjoy the video do make sure to check out the links in the description below consider subscribing and liking the video as it will help us grow together and really mean the world to me so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to open up my code editor as usual come over to the views py and you want to write a new class and this one is going to be called send message and it's pretty much well inherited from generics.create API view, as simple as that. And the serializer class that we want to interact with will be the message serializer. Guess what? You guessed it right. We are done. Come over to the URLs. And over here, all you just need to do is register a very, very simple URL. And for this one, I just duplicated. And I'm going to call this one send message. Or I'm just going to call the send message view that we created. And also over here, I want to remove all those keyword arguments. I don't need all that. And I'm just going to call this send message and not messages. You could call it send messages though, because we might be sending multiple messages. And that's pretty much it. We are done. As you can see, it's, it's as simple as that. If you try visiting this now in the in the page, let me go ahead and run my server for once. It's been a while since I run my server. So Python manage py run server. Uh oh, I need to see the into back end and run Python manage py run server. And I'm going to try visiting this page on the browser okay it says this has no model serialize i think that issue should be from the serializer model serializer that's it okay let's see what we got there you go it's working well now i'm going to go ahead and open this up on my browser and um, chrome should be opening up by now i'm going to come over to slash api api slash and then remember it's called send dash messages slash let's see what we got here um it should be api slash send messages send messages there you go so now all we need to do is just fill this form in and hit send and it should send the message you can actually try this out if you want to so i could just go ahead and let me open up the admin uh, I'm, I actually do not want to open up the admin. I'm, I want to open it up on a new page. Okay, let's fill this in. Let's say the sender is Sami, the receiver. The sender is Destiny, the receiver is Sami. And I can say, hello, Sami. Sending a message using the browsable API view, right? And I could just go ahead and post this. Okay, it says, okay, yeah, I think we got an issue with the image name let's see what where that's coming from so this should be image all right I'm, st I'm still making the same mistake this should be image okay let's refresh again there you go perfect it's now working well so now if we log into the admin section and we come over to the to the messages this one over here then we should now see hey sammy sending the message from the browsable api that's pretty much it we are done we should have finished this video in less than two minutes but i actually went ahead and showed you guys this so hopefully you guys understood what went on it's quite easy once you inherit from the create api view then it's going to give you a form or whatever form that you set in the serializer which is this one over here it's just going to give you this form over here to fill in all right actually not that it's going to give you the form in the model to fill in okay and when you fill that in and hit post it's gonna send it set send it and save it to the database automatically just with two lines of code that's pretty much it hopefully you like you guys like the video and the next one we should go ahead and work with the profile getting the profile detail page and also writing a simple query or function that's gonna go ahead and search users that's gonna be it until the next video mad love peace out